bitumen, hard top, tar, paved road. <laughs> it's not our idea of fun, although twisty mountain roads are okay. But those boring highways, ugh. This is where our new turbochargers and nitrous injectors come in handy. <laughs> us to the good stuff much sooner. <laughs> ah, how's the serenity? There has been a lot of rain the past week, so this promises to be a slippery ride. There was a long section that was so slippery I couldn't turn the camera on until this final bit. <laughs> Our rear wheels kept trying to overtake the front. We were still on the original Deathwing tyres and didn't drop the air pressure. Plenty of fun. Next section is tough when it's dry. I know we will get the bikes bogged for sure. Well, we just had a quick look and it's going to be way too slippery. It's just steep. Tiniest bit of throttle and the wheels are just going to go any which way. Woohoo! Oi! Oh man! The rear wheel is just going everywhere. Woo. And I haven't got knee braces on, so I really don't want to drop the bike. See if a bit of speed helps. Jeff has the right idea and just rides on the grass. In slippery terrain, the usual rules apply. Keep your body weight to the rear for traction, high gear, low revs. Let the bike move around and don't try to overcorrect too much. If you are game, stand on the foot pegs and use your body positioning to stay balanced. It's all a good challenge and of course, let some air out of your tyres if needed. Now it gets seriously slippery. Whoa, she's slippery again. Oh, I must have had a lot of rain down here. Hey, jeez, there's almost no steering. Come on, baby. I think my rear wheel's just locked up. <laughs> oh, just balancing well. Mm. This is so slippery. I'm just using the stalled engine and clutch as a rear brake so I can paddle. <laughs> ah! Whoa! That was a bit hairy. I know, that was just a two wheel drift all the way down. Yeah, good fun. A few years back, I spent a lot of time with cadastral maps, satellite imagery and Google Maps. The idea was to find unused roads that were overgrown and how to break up the boring bitumen sections with little detours into rough tracks that were still officially legal roads. They often looked like this. As always, leave gates as you found them. Most of these tracks are less than an hour's drive from the city, and yet there are bits you feel as if you are in the middle of nowhere. Always great for a short adventure ride off the beaten track. Mm -hmm. 